when pandemic first happened, it was, it was difficult. Uh, you know, uh, our tradition, our culture with funerals, um, it was hard because a lot had to be scaled back. Um, Annette Ada has helped families through the funeral home for the past three decades, but nothing could prepare them for COVID-19. Government restrictions meant some loved ones couldn't be by each other's side at the height of the pandemic. It got worse when it went down to 10. And 10 people here on Guam, there's more than 10 in the family. And it, and it's, it, it really got hard for the family. For us, we had to do everything to, to uh, follow the, the protocols of public health. And we did our best. We, and we continue to do our best. It's a far cry from the 80 people they're allowed inside now for both COVID and other deaths, but meals can no longer be shared outside like before. We've handled over, gosh, I'll say over 400 families. Some are repeated families, you know, families who come back, and, and, uh, but we've handled a lot, a lot of families. 400. Yeah, because at right now, just this year alone, we're up to... I think we're at 273. And it's an urgent call to bring them to the funeral home where they can rest easier. Here we would not, you know, we try not to let them stay at the hospital. We know that they're overwhelmed right now. And we have our refrigeration system downstairs. And um, so that, you know, we just, we, we, we do our best to pick them up as soon as we can. And their refrigeration system reached capacity. At the peak of pandemic, Families were having to wait three to four weeks, sometimes even a little longer, just to have a funeral. And uh, now it's still the same, but at least in maybe, what, two, three weeks? After bearing witness to the grief that comes with so many deaths, it takes a toll on the staff, too. You would think I would get used to it by now, but I'm not. Tomas Manglonia for KUAM News.